Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing uh, King's Quest 3. So, in the last one we found this book place. I'm going to keep my tying up here because there's a timer on there. That's the game will all run on a timer if you're still coming into this brand new. We're playing as a kid named Gwydion who has found out through the journal that he's definitely not the first Gwydion. doesn't know who he is. So, part of what we're doing is trying to figure that out. So, I want to take a quick look at my inventory stuff and see if I can do that without the timer going on. I can't. Okay, so I want to take a couple of things that I was looking at in here earlier. I received. And I think one of them. Oh, let's see. No, I don't think I do. The mirror. Is I've got all this stuff, but I don't have anything from the home. Porridge. Yeah. So the timer's getting closer to me having to be out of here, so I'm gonna have to be quick about what I do. But I want to go and explore. Um, oh, I gotta hand it. I gotta want to go and explore a little bit further because I know there's got to be some of the things around here to check out. As I go, thought I had a scroll that I found, but it looks like I didn't. Oh shit! I gotta get back. Uh, he's gonna be back before I get a chance, and that's not good. I might end up having to do a whole In bunch of stuff of again. In the the Wizard's Mountain, the northern end. Of uh uh uh. There we go. Climb down. And I gotta get back to town or home before he realizes I'm gone. I said I've got about two minutes when that happens before he arrives, so we gotta scramble as quick as we can and get back to the house before he notices. Hopefully get rid of all my stuff that I have on me before he notices that as well. Um, because that would be bad. Scramble, scramble, let go. These two are certainly un- Oh, keep going. Edge of the road. We're good. Bandits. I ain't got time for you, bandits. I ain't got time for nobody right now. We'll worry about all that before I get back. So that's the thing of this game is that you've gotta you've gotta do these item these things and try to get back before men and then Fuck <laughs> Watch your step. My bad. When I get back to this point I'll see you guys there without falling down like an idiot. I don't have time for these bears. Are you along there, Mildred? Oh. <sighs> yes, George. Mama, my button's not done up. Button. Cute. Cute. Haven't you taught him anything, Mildred? It's a bit difficult for him, George. Ah, <laughs> cute. I don't think I'd ever meet these. There's so much random stuff. This is the second time I ran through here trying to get uh taken care of the business. Okay, I think I made it before. I was like a little bit further to go. Before Manon makes it back, and anything else I want to do in town, I'll have to wait until he leaves again, taking care of any of the chores and such that he wants from me. Uh, I'm hoping that my room is a safe location to um, hide all of my stuff. That's what I'm concerned about the most. You have nothing of any interest in your dream. Do I have a thing? Can I put all this stuff away? That's the question. You can't you. You can't. How do I? Oh, hide. There we go. Hide items. Okay, hide everything of value. I'm gonna hide. Drop to your hands and knees and hide the eye. Okay. There we gotta go. All. Oops. I didn't want the porridge. Let me retrieve that one. I think anything in blue, I'm pretty sure, is the stuff that I don't want to uh, see him see I have. So I gotta be careful about that. I will retrieve the porridge, though. Alright. There we go. We are safe for another day. And there he is. Hey, what's up? What'd I do? You know better than to go through my personal belongings. What? He's like looking for a reason to kill me. Mananan caught you snooping around. Now you're nothing but dust on the ground. Hmm. All right. Well, I need to be real more careful about my save positions and stuff. This one's going to be a little bit tough. All right. I'll see you guys when I get back here and hopefully put everything away. All right, cool. Now, save as an alternate file. <laughs> this is so dangerous. 
I think I left everything good. There should be nothing else in this house that he could give a crap about. Uh, hopefully. I'll just wait for him to show up. Double check his room, make sure his office has nothing. Nope. I do need to get into his stuff. And I got you that book that has information for me in across the wizard's face. I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. Okay. Where are you gonna be? Manan oh. is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Crap. All right. Uh, As it is summer, the need for a fire and cooked food is diminished. Okay. Do I just pick up a bowl and start cooking? You retrieve the clay bowl from the kitchen shelf and take it with you. Oh, okay. That's cool. What do I do? Mix these together, maybe. Let's try that. Combining these items... Combine... Okay. Maybe if I just feed him meat. Mananan is impatient. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Here's your food. Nom 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 nom. Your lord and master keeps a cold eye on you when he's not watching everyone else. The fruit too? The wizard is not hungry. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Alright then, jackass. Alright, well then I'm gonna go to sleep, I guess, because I'm stuck here until then. And he will wake me up, I'm sure, with chores. Because I do not want to be on his bad side. Sleep. Yeah, it makes a whole minute pass. That's pretty cool. For a couple of them. Your heart Damn. skips as the wizard <laughs> gives you an evil look. I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Ooh, I've got some time. Okay. Let's take a look, take a look, take a look. Again, you search the content. Persistent are hmm, hmm. Don't you remember anything I could do? I know this. Let's Carefully see. examining the bookshelf, you notice something unusual about one of the volumes. Only the spines are apparent, and they seem to be stuck together. Yeah, this is part of the puzzle that I had earlier. Yep, levers. Exactly. I thought so. Of course, I gotta be real careful. Oh, I don't have my book with me. Crap. I forgot to write that down. Dang. Just a moment. I pulled up uh, my previous video, actually, is what I did and uh, took a look at the uh, the code. So it should be like this circular thing, arrow thing, circular thing, diamond thing. Arrow thing. Circle thing. Dash. Arrow thing. Diamond thing. Dash. There we go. Sweet. You quickly pull the levers in the correct sequence. Alright, I can go in and out there whenever I need to now. Is it these? It's these on the you bottom. Quickly there it is, the blue ones on the bottom. That's what it was. Let's go take a quick look like we have time while we have time while he's sleeping. Hopefully it'll be alright. Might be able to find ourselves a way. Oh, it is a whole bunch of stuff. You look in awe around this torchlit underground room. It appears to be a laboratory. A wizard's laboratory. Well, no shit. We got a wizard uh, in our house. Why wouldn't we have a wizard's laboratory around? <laughs> I tell you, sometimes. For real? Oh, you can fall the off everything. Filled with numerous items. 
Most of the bottles are unmarked. There are a few things that interest you, though. You pick up the bottle labeled ground fish scales uh -huh. and take it with you. You can't use... I'm gonna take you everything that lets me. flask and take it with you. Anything you that looks different. You labeled toad spittle and take it with you. You pick up the bottle labeled toadstool powder and take it with you. You pick up the bottle I'll take it all. Saffron I'm gonna clear everything on this rack. You. Most of the bo You pick up the bottle. You can't. Most of the bottles are unmarked, and you've already taken all the interesting ones. Most of the bo Most. I guess that was all of them. Most. Okay. You're not really in interested in that shelf. What else you we got going on? Closer look at the wizard's work table. Covered with gold trimmings, the old book's leather cover is cracked and worn. Its pages yellowed and brittle. Of course, the old title, book. however, is clear. The Sorcery of Old. That's you a good sorcery. You thumb through page after page of what you assume to be magic formulas. The ink of the old handwriting is faint and barely readable. Most of the formulas are indecipherable, but a few are in a language you know. You treat the old book with great care. As you can tell, it contains recipes for some very old and powerful magic spells. Your hands shake as you this realize what I can do. this book could be the key to your escape yep. from the evil Mananan. Mananan. I see. Understanding the language of creatures. Power, pour one thimble full of dew. I got that into a bowl. Place one tuft of fur from an, anim an animal. We've got some cat and some dog fur. Add one rounded spoonful of ground fish scales. Mm, I think that's what I have from him. So I believe I've got that. <coughs> there we go. My chair is uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I'm keeping my, my cursor up here so I don't lose time on this. Add one rounded spoonful of ground fish scales. Place one dried reptile skin into the bowl. Um, that must have been one of the items I got. Drop one small feather from any bird into the bowl. I gotta get one of those. Mix fowl's contents with your hands until they become doughy. Recite the following. Fur of beast in the reptile skin with a scale of feather. To drone in grant me sense to comprehend animals of water, earth, and wind. Have a magic wand over a bowl. Wave magic wand over a bowl. Separate dough into two pieces and place in here. Well, let's see if I can go do that real quick. I save this as a third option. That way, if I get an opportunity to, I might be able to um, correct this if I mess this up. Let's rush upstairs. I think everything I need is actually under my bed. He's got the magic wand in his room, so I should be able to... Oh, Jesus Christ. With the... With the walking. Quickly. Rush upstairs. I need those chicken feathers, I think is all I need. And my, um... Man and then still asleep and we still got time on there. I need the chicken feathers. Retrieve. The wad of dog hair is dirty white and brown. Take that. The chicken feather is small and light. No more than a piece of Okay, I'll take that. The little vial of rose. Oh. You hold a small ball of I don't need that one. The fish must have been on dry land for a considerable amount of time already, as its aroma is less than desirable. That's a fish. You're carrying a handful of fertile soil. Oh, I got the, the thimble of dew. The dew spark. I'll take that too. All right. Now, let's rush back downstairs, hopefully without waking him up. And, uh... Try to put this spell together before he wakes up. I'm gonna need to get his um I'm gonna need to get his uh wand as well. So after all of that running around, once I died last time I found out looking through the book that I'm missing something in my stuff. I am gonna try one thing 
I believe there might be stuff left in here, and I want to see how much I can disturb him, so to speak. So I'm going to save this here and see if I can get into this room and go through his wardrobe. I feel like I might be missing something in there. We'll see what happens. Yep, figured as much. So I can't go in there when he's asleep. I can go and explore the town a little bit, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. So I'm going to sleep until he's done. I don't know how long the timer works in this game, but I am going to hide all of the stuff I just found in his um, office and rest until he's gone or at least wakes me up for work. Perfect. And I'm going to save right here real quick and see you guys on the other side of all of this. I hope that you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we are going to hopefully have him leave soon again and get every single thing that he's got here that we can get as well as continue to explore the town for as much as we can. I feel like I missed something in his room because it shouldn't be this hard to travel around. There's got to be a way that he is doing his teleporting that we can try to duplicate. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.